Hey guys, this is Kevin with Engel Makes It Happen. Today I'm in our home brewery called the Man Shack Brewing Association. We call everything around here the Man Shack. Started with the bar in the backyard because it's a little shack and surrounded by water like a small city here in South Louisiana called the Man Shack. The brewery started a couple years ago right before COVID. My cousin, Christine, bought us a homebrew kit and we started making beer. Always loved beer, always tried a lot of different beers and they've really been into it for a very, very long time. So we started brewing a couple years ago. Typical to my nature of everything else that I do, I just go overboard. But I just wanted to show y'all a quick little video of how we have our brewery set up. I do have our brewery fully inside. Even though we are in the south and weather is good most of the year, it's also damn hot. And lots and lots of bugs. A lot of times I'm brewing at night after work, after a long day or what have you. So we decided to go all electric and work inside rather than dealing with the weather, the conditions outside, the bugs and the cleaning and all that kind of stuff. So the room that we had this in was originally a porch when I bought the house, which was built in 1942. And years ago when I had my second child, converted it to a bedroom and closed in the porch. And then after my children grew up and moved out the house, converted it into a brewery. So I just want to give you all a little peek see of how it is and how I have it set up. A lot of people are always very interested on in how you set up your home brewery. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to show it because I do like the little nooks and nannies of things I have in here and how I have it set up that make it really easy for me. And of course, everybody has to make their own brewery what works best for them with their space, their environment and tools that are important to them. But let me give you a quick look around. All right, so we're gonna start here. This is our main work area. Had the table custom made, really wasn't that expensive. Doing these things at home aren't really expensive. It's just about shopping smart and utilizing what you can use. The shelving was here when it was my children's bedroom, including the closet. I bought the sink online, a couple hundred dollars. Very, very handy, nice, deep, big commercial sink with a pretty cool commercial faucet. The faucet works off with a extra wand, which is great for cleaning and filling up kegs, filling up pots, all that kind of stuff. The faucet's supposed to work where you turn this thing and it turns that on and off, but that has never worked. Bought the faucet on eBay, it was probably used and tried to fix it, couldn't get it fixed. So that's that area. The table was custom made. It's a cleat table, which means that along the back, it has a metal bracket that goes end to end, screws to the wall, so there's no legs in the back that save you some space. It does have two legs in the front, but it gives you lots of storage space underneath to store all my extra kegs, cleaning products, things along those lines. Did a full stainless steel wrap around the back to keep it extra clean. I'm very big in organization, so a little drying rack for some of my measuring cups and things along those lines, hand soap, dish soap right up in there. Then I mount as much stuff to the walls as I can. I um, love doing storage vertically, getting it out of the way. Again, keeps it really, really organized. The walls are actually all just pallet board that are ripped and cut and installed, nailed straight to the wall. And again, old book storage shelf, all my miscellaneous junk. It's metal pegboard, got that off of Amazon. Timers. All those kind of good things here. As far as brewing, the two main systems I use in here are both from Butman and they're called the Brew Easy. This is a five gallon, which means that this makes a five gallon batch of beer. I use that most frequently because it's a smaller kettle, easy to use, and most commonly I'm making five gallon batches of beer. Five gallon batch of beer is equivalent to a six barrel if you're used to buying kegs. Kegs come in many sizes but six barrel is most common, but we use, home brewers use what's called corny kegs or Cornelius kegs. That's what I mostly use. So this is what's called a rim system, which basically just means it's a recirculating system. The wort cooks in here. This is your hot liquor tank, boiler kettle, whatever you want to call it. And then the pump controls it, brings the wort through the pump where the temperature regulated inside the pump. It's got a thermocouple right there and goes to the top, which the top is where all of your grain goes. So it's constantly circulating the wart 
and getting all of your sugars and your flavors out of the ingredients that you put in there depending on whatever beer you're making. This is all automatic with a auto controlled system and that takes care of whatever temperature you want to set out, how high you want the electric burner set, all those kind of good things. Pretty simple system, but it does take a lot of time getting used to. Besides the five gallon, I do also have a 20 gallon unit that I had purchased for making half barrels of beer. I don't do that very often, but I have in the past. Uh, I did use this a few weeks ago, right after Thanksgiving, when I made a 10 gallon batch of Carnival Saison to get ready for Mardi Gras, which is gonna be in a couple of months. So it's a good pot. You can do a lot of grain in here. The last batch I had, I believe I had 32 pounds of grain. So it worked really good for that. Same type system as the five gallon. It's a full recirculating system. The controls for this one are on an independent stand, which I just put in the corner when I'm not being used. This system is a 220 volt system where the five gallon is only 100, 110. So you do have to have special dedicated wire for that. But that's good. Besides those two, I also use this Gigawart. Two Gigawarts from Northern Brewer. And it's a pretty nice little kettle. I primarily use that when I'm doing extract kits. I'll explain more what an extract kit is in another video. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning is vital in homebrew. And the way I have mine set up, again, everybody does their own, I keep all my products in kegs. So this keg, this is all sanitizer. This keg is all cleaner. I'll find that the easiest rather than making it or putting it in spray bottles or containers. I have that and then I have my handles, which are some stupid cheap ass wire off of some coat hangers. So they just hang right here. One day I'll improve on that but they're color coded. The all black I know is cleaner and the one with the blue I know is sanitizer. So I just know what, what is what. And when I'm cleaning kegs, cleaning bottles, cleaning equipment, I'm using that constantly, constantly, constantly. And I have a little rack here where I keep my small five pound CO2 tank hanging. So I use that to put pressure in those kegs. So if I'm purging kegs or tapping off kegs, whatever, I have that real handy right there. So that's my setup for the cleaning. I keep all my extra kegs down here, which I'll often have many. I probably have 15 or so kegs in total. So I keep my extra kegs there. And I am gonna make another video on how I purge them because purging them of any oxygen is very important when you're kegging beer. So besides that, showed you that one already. I have a little three tap system in here. I did buy a commercial unit. This one is made by a, to a toaster, I guess. I don't know. But uh, this originally came with a single tap head, and I just added two more to it. You just drill holes, run your wires, pretty some. I'm sorry, your hoses, run your hoses down in there. Pretty simple setup. I have a little manifold for my CO2. This is enough to fit, it's a single keg box, but it's enough to fit four six barrels or four corner kegs. I like that because I like to let them age in here, or I'll let them naturally carbonate under the CO2 in here so I could store a few of them in there. This is an old freezer that I use as a fermentator and a ferment, fermenting chamber actually, sorry. That is basically, it's an old freezer and it's dirty as hell, I'll admit it right now. But I use that, just store some glasses in and then I can ferment two five gallon buckets in there. Unfortunately, it's broken, so I gotta replace that. But that is a fermenter. And then over here is our main fermentation area. These are made by Spike Brewing. Spike makes an incredibly good product. Very, very, very good customer service. Not cheap, but when you're buying something like this, you could have it the rest of your life. So it's a really, really good product. This is a five gallon. That's a 15 gallon, CF5, CF15. And uh, these spike fermenters are really, really nice. One day I'll go into all the way those things work and all the attachments that go with it. And I did go ahead and invest in a good glycol chiller. 
glycol chiller is similar to like an air conditioner type unit, it just chills the glycol. And the glycol goes through the hoses down into the fermenter to control my temperature. So like those are my temperature controls for the two different fermenters so I can keep them at whatever temperature I want. So that's my basic setup. Everything else is just pretty stuff. Got my TV and unfortunately I have a lot of collections. I have a beer sign collection I've been working on for uh, two years or so. Beer glasses, all kinds of crap that I just don't need, but you know, why not? Most of those things I do buy at garage sales or Facebook, places like that. Not expensive. I don't I don't pay full price for anything. Storage wise in here just more buckets. That's another batch of all grain that I'll probably do uh, maybe this weekend when it's supposed to be stupid cold. And uh, just a bunch of accessories, manifolds and cleaners and flavors and brushes. You need all this stuff, unfortunately. And you just something I've built up over the last couple of years. So, well, nice little slice of heaven in here. Come in here, turn some music on. People come over, we'll sit down, have a couple of beers, taste some samples and go from there. Well, I hope you all enjoy the little video of my setup. It might give you some ideas for what you want. I know a lot of people come here, they really like this or like that. And that's one thing in life I'm always striving to do is whenever I go anywhere, whenever I'm experiencing, I try to pick up a little bit of this, a little bit of that from what they're doing and work that into my life on how I do things and how would that work for me and how could I change it to make it better for me or what have you. Um, again, if you wanna be critical, I don't give a damn. Don't leave comments. I don't care about your opinion. I'm just sharing mine. Hopefully it works out for you. Uh, if you do like it, click like on the video, show it to some other people. If you can get any one bit of piece of information, I hope it helps you. Y'all have a great day.